Pile number two today, what you're in avoidance of, the justice card comes out. And it's interesting because the justice card is kind of about that balancing the scales, cutting ties, stuff like this. And what it feels like you're in avoidance of is coming into balance. And it feels like kind of that stuck in that energy of wanting justice to come and serve, be served to people. And so we have this dark lady here. And if we get too caught up in that justice energy, karma, and we focus on what needs to shift in the world and get too focused on the chaos, the justice that needs to happen, we get really lost in where we're going and those scales needing to <clears throat> be balanced. And so what you're being asked to do is it's interesting, two cards came out in this deck, the tower and the nine of swords. And so what you're really being asked to do is allow everything to fall apart and to hang up those swords. So letting go of those burdens, right? But it's also letting go of this idea of needing to <clears throat> cut through everything <clears throat> because what it's doing is affecting your ability to speak your truth while you're so busy holding a container together trying to avoid this tower from falling it's causing you issues sleeping causing this anxiety right it's causing all this chaos in your world and it's not necessary we also had the heart of source energy come out, says all-encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, serenity. And so it's about tapping into that light source energy and, and look at how, you know, dark these cards are, even for the tarot cards that come out <clears throat> as to where to go and how to move forward there's still some darkness around it, right? But when we add this card to the mix, <clears throat> it's about we need to bring some color back into it. Now, one of the big things that I learned when I went to Saskatchewan at the beginning of the year was I was so focused on destruction and burning shit up because Saskatchewan's energy is so heavy and dense that it was like trying to walk through a fucking canola field. It's impossible. And so I went so deep into this justice energy where I'm like, how can I help the people <clears throat> pull out of this energy, right? Those heavy ties to the religion, the alcohol, the sex, the things that are keeping us so plugged in and in this darkness. <clears throat> and it's and it hits the back of the throat interesting because it's not even a choke like when I have uh, stuff interfering. It's like really dry in the back of the throat like hard winter's fucking month. We need to let go of this darkness now, right? We can't always create chaos. So one of the biggest things I learned through all of that and many weeks of recovery after coming back home and being in this state and trying to keep that tower from falling was I needed to see that magic again. I really needed to tap into it and feel it and see the light and remember the light and pull away from that darkness. And so part of what you are requiring right now is to go find that magic, let go of whatever you're scared of falling apart right now, because what's being deconstructed is here to help you evolve. 
And I say it as I'm up in the middle of the night right now in my own weird spin. So it's interesting that <laughs> I'm basically giving myself my own weird advice in some ways with this because there's things happening that are triggering me this evening that I'm like working through. And so <clears throat> there's interesting things coming up with these cards. Where do we need to go back to that heart source energy? What's the purpose? Where's that unconditional acceptance needing to come in and that love energy? It's not always about the karma and the darkness. We do have to find that light. And so create some more stability around that and you'll start seeing that the towers aren't as hard as they, they seem. So... I'm going to leave you at that. If you require a session, I'll leave the link for you. Also, I have my pendulum course available for purchase now. I'm super excited about it. Um, so you can get 50% off new release 2022 for the code for 50% off the pendulum course for a limited time. And if you book a session with me between now and June 1st, I will also offer you the course for free. So there's some bonuses here to jump on it right away. I'm excited to have it out there for you all and <clears throat> I will chat with you all soon. Take care.